Real estate investments, especially rental properties, are popular for new investors. However, as time goes by, property owners may find themselves at a crossroads. They might wish to transition to larger properties or exit the role of a landlord altogether, but the prospect of high taxes when selling their existing properties is a concern they cannot ignore. Hi there, this is Harry Nima Segarra with Nima Equity, and today we'll discuss what is a 1031 exchange and its use and value for real estate investors. A 1031 exchange functions as a tax deferral strategy allowing property owners to exchange one investment property for another without having to pay capital gains tax on the sale. So what is a 1031 exchange? Consider this. You own a single-family rental property and decide it is time to sell it. You realize you will end up with a profit of $500,000 before taxes. Typically, when selling a rental property, you have to pay capital gains and depreciation recapture taxes. Capital gains tax rates can vary, but for the sake of this example, let's assume it's around 20%. Meanwhile, the depreciation recapture tax is typically set at 25%. Once these taxes are settled, your actual profit is significantly less than the initial $500,000. This is where the 1031 exchange becomes important. If you reinvest the full $500,000 through a 1031 exchange, you can continue building your wealth without the immediate tax hit. By reinvesting the proceeds from your initial property into another real estate venture, you preserve your capital and are not obligated to pay those taxes, setting the stage for long-term wealth accumulation. Why to use a 1031 exchange? Most individuals considering a 1031 exchange share two key objectives. First, they aim to avoid receiving cash from the sale of their property. And second, they intend to reinvest their profits into the real estate sector, reaffirming a commitment to long-term real estate investments. These investors typically possess substantial experience and plan to make repeated use of the 1031 exchange for years to come. What is worth noting is that 1031 exchanges are specifically designated for investment properties, excluding primary residences from this tax-saving strategy, the path to bigger and better properties. Many real estate investors use the 1031 exchange to progress from single-family rentals to bigger assets, such as duplexes, triplexes, and apartment complexes. The appeal of multifamily syndications becomes evident here. These investments offer the benefit of apartment ownership without the hassles of property management and tenant communications. Furthermore, it opens doors for investors with various budget sizes to participate as passive investors. For single-family rental property owners looking to transition, a 1031 exchange can be an important move. It facilitates an upgrade from being a hands-on landlord to a hands-off passive investor in a multifamily syndication, aligning with your evolving real estate investment objectives the Tenants in Common or TIC structure. For someone using a 1031 exchange to go from single-family homes to apartments, the process is relatively straightforward, often utilizing a Tenants in Common or TIC structure. This structure allows 1031 investors to offload their single-family rental and channel the money into a multifamily syndication. Within the TIC structure, 1031 investors assume direct ownership of the bigger asset, a mandatory condition for the 1031 exchange. TICs function as distinct entities, separated from the general partnership in the case of syndications. Importantly, TICs must provide returns to the 1031 investor according to their stake in the property. However, it is critical to note that for investors in a multifamily syndication who choose a more passive route without TIC structure, the IRS classifies their shares as securities rather than real estate. This emphasizes the necessity for a like-kind exchange in a true 1031 exchange, ensuring the transition from one real estate asset to another, not from real estate to a security, navigating the process. To successfully execute a 1031 exchange, a set timeline must be followed. After selling the original property, you have 45 days to identify the next real estate investment where you will reinvest your proceeds. During this period, you won't have access to the funds from the sale. The IRS mandates the use of a qualified intermediary, also known as an accommodator, to manage the transition. After the 45-day identification window, you have an additional 180 days to close on the chosen property. Failing to follow these timelines may result in the obligation to pay capital gains taxes on your profits, the role of a qualified intermediary. The IRS mandates the involvement of a qualified intermediary in a 1031 exchange. Failure to use one may result in automatic taxation. The qualified intermediary takes custody of the funds while you find and finalize the next real estate investment, ensuring the safekeeping of your proceeds. 
This professional plays a crucial role in facilitating the 1031 exchange, guiding you through the process and ensuring compliance with all deadlines. Certain rules govern who can serve as a qualified intermediary, including the requirement that they must be independent and not related to you. The optimal time to secure a qualified intermediary is during the initial property sale process. In closing, using a 1031 exchange to transition from your current property to a bigger one or an apartment complex indication offers several advantages. It enables continued wealth growth while minimizing the tax burden on your proceeds. Moreover, it provides a pathway to larger properties or multifamily real estate, a resilient asset class with a strong historical performance record. For landlords seeking to upgrade their real estate investments, the 1031 exchange is a strategic and tax-efficient solution that merits consideration. In the description below, there's a link to join the NEMA Equity Doctors Investing Club, where you will learn more about investing and real estate and how they can help you achieve your financial goals. Last but not least, help others find this video by giving it a thumbs up below. Want to hear more about real estate? Make sure you're subscribed to our channel. Feel free to share with a friend or a colleague while you're at it. I'm Harry Nima Segarra with Nima Equity. Thank you so much for watching. <music>